morning. My mom and I are here at the Wild Basin Trailhead, located inside the Rocky Mountain National Park. And today, we're going to go for Twin Lakes. We just don't know how much snow is going to be up there. Official start time, 7.15. Let's go check out Copeland Falls. We've made it up to the campsite shortcut, and that is actually the most direct route up to the Twin Lakes. But we're gonna take the scenic route. We're gonna stay to the left and head on up to Calypso Cascades and also Oozle Falls. And then just past the trail split are these bonus falls. The majority of the trail past the bridge is all stairs. But this gets you up to Calypso Cascades. This steep part is pretty short, but it's one of the worst little sections of this hike, I believe. And we've made it up to Calypso Cascades. I was here a couple weeks ago and these were all covered up with snow. We're going to head on over to Oozel Falls. That's looking over to Meeker and Longs. Really beautiful. This is such a great day. And we're on the final uphill section to Oozel Falls. It's really not too much further at all. In one hour and 40 minutes, we're up here, Oozle Falls. And this has been a really pleasant hike so far. No one out here. There were only four cars in the parking lot when I pulled up this morning.
We're going to take a quick break up here at Oozle Falls. We've got this entire place to ourselves right now, which is pretty rare these days. We've spent maybe 20, 25 minutes up here at Oozle Falls, but we're going to push on and connect it over to Twin Lakes, hopefully. We've made it back down to the main trail and we're crossing over this bridge that was built after the floods. I believe that was 2013. All right, the rest of this shouldn't be too hard at all. We're looking at a little over one mile up to the lakes with maybe a 400 foot elevation gain. That's looking up at Meadow Mountain. I cannot get over how beautiful of a day it is today. So far we have encountered just a tiny amount of snow. I'm talking maybe like 10 footsteps through it. But that's what I was worried about. I wasn't sure how much it was gonna be up here at above 9,000 feet. But this stuff is melting fast. Oop, here's some. <laughs> this is the most that we've seen all day, right here. And I think this is gonna be short-lived. This part is so cool. And I may have just cursed us by talking about the snow. Because now we've got snow. Oh, come on. out of it. I'm hoping it was just that one tiny little section back there. We just passed the Oozle Lake slash Bluebird Lake cutoff. We're now taking it out to the campsite shortcut junction and I believe we're gonna start the bushwhack somewhere right in there. We're getting ready to cross the water, which means that the campsite shortcut junction is just right up the trail. Yeah, the bridge is right down there. And then this is gonna be the junction for the campsite shortcut. And we need to start looking for a little social trail that leads up. Maybe a 10th of a mile past the junction or so is where we're gonna cut off, right here by this giant boulder. This looks good. We're gonna just start picking our way up through the trees here. Yeah, this doesn't look too bad at all. So far so good with the bushwhack, but it is gonna get steep up here. We're having to zigzag our way around some down trees here and there but we're doing it we're making our way up this thing there are a few spots 
that are kind of nasty here and there that you have to go around. But we're getting real close, guys. We just hit 9,700. And the edge of the first lake is only 377 feet away. And we just broke through the trees to this little open part. And this is looking real good. It's steep, but it's nice and open. Yeah, right there. Ugh. Oh, I think I just broke my finger. We're getting amazing views of Copeland Mountain right there. And that's what the book said. This part right here is super steep and my finger hurts. This is officially an SLB, sketchy little bushwhack. And this is it guys, the very final section. The lake is literally just right over the hill here so close yeah we just came up some stuff right right there i'm not sure if we did this right but we did it we're up here. This is one of the Twin Lakes. I'm guessing this is Lower Twin Lake. Oh wow, this is really beautiful. I believe the upper lake is gonna be over in that direction. I don't know if we're gonna get that or not. I'm feeling quite content with this one. This is a really beautiful lake with the rocks in the middle. That's fantastic. Got Mount Alice in the background. That's a beast. On second thought, we might try to go out to that second lake after all. It's only a tenth of a mile away. Of course, this last 300 feet has to be terrible. This is some slow moving. All right, guys, and we have made it. This is Upper Twin Lake. Getting from the lower lake over here to the upper lake is actually harder than the bushwhack from the trail up to the lake. That was ridiculous. Well guys, there's nowhere to sit up here at the upper lake and it's really not as pretty as the lower lake. So we're gonna head on back, find a good spot and take a break. We've made it back down to the lower twin lake and this is the most awesome view of it. We're gonna sit right here and take our break. Nothing says lovin' like something from the glovin'. This is the view from our spot and it does not get much better than this. This is absolutely beautiful and a perfect day as well. 
Yeah, they call these twin lakes, but one of them is definitely better than the other. It's like the movie twins. This lake right here is Arnold Schwarzenegger, and the one behind me is Danny DeVito. <laughs> well guys, it's about 11.30. I'm not even sure how long we've been sitting up here. At least 30 minutes or so. But it's getting a little late, so it is time to go. It's time to head on back. I think we're out of the nasty stuff. I mean, we're still gonna have to bushwhack down to the trail, but that's not gonna be as bad as was trying to get over to that upper twin lake. That was ridiculous at the end. We've made it back to the spot that we came up, which was all I was really worried about, to be honest. I feel like now that we're starting off in the right direction, we'll figure it out. Right there at the very top, coming up, we merged with this really faint social trail. So we're trying to stay on that on the way down. So far so good. And this is much easier. Once she gets down that rock, we're gonna be looking real good because that is the, that's the la yeah, that's the last of that real steep section. And we've been staying on the little social trail coming down. Yeah, we're looking good. I'm telling you, if you can stay on this little trail on the way up and down, it is so much easier. So much easier. And we have made it back down to the trail. Yes. The rest of this should be pretty easy. I just checked the GPS and this spot right here is about a quarter of a mile past the campsite shortcut junction. And that took us about 25 minutes to hike back down here. This is looking back at where we dropped in on the trail. So I would say this is ideally the best spot to cut off. I mean, that wasn't bad at all coming down. It's like 10 times easier than the way we went up. We're back down to the campsite shortcut junction where we're gonna take the left and take it straight down to the main trail. You guys should have seen this two weeks ago. It was like hiking down a river. And then right after I said that, we hiked around the corner and boom, we got water. We've gotten a little bit of everything on this hike today. We've had dry hiking, snow, now water. We've had epic mountain views, lakes, waterfalls, blue sky. Yeah, this has been a really great hike. And we're finally down the campsite shortcut trail. That's a rough trail. I'm really glad we went up the long way and saw the waterfalls instead of taking that trail. But yeah, we're back down and we have now completed the loop. And we are back. It's just now 1.15, which means that that took about an hour and 45 minutes to come down. All right, Twin Lakes, got him. Boom, nice job. What a beautiful hike and a really beautiful day too. We hope you enjoyed it and until the next one, y'all, peace.